So today we're here at the Batch Valley doing some hedge laying with a group of people on the National Trust land. We've got a group of nine volunteers laying a hedge, starting doing a bit of work for their first day on the course. I'm Richard from Reed Rural, so we do all sorts of activities outdoors. Um, through the summer we do sort of archery, air rifle, bushcraft, clay shooting. In the winter we teach mainly sort of skills like hedge laying and that's what we're doing here today. Just see if it will. There are several steps or several stages to it. Obviously deciding what, what hedge you're going to lay or is the hedge suitable of laying would be the, obviously the key thing. Then after that is looking at each individual stem which will turn into a pleacher as you lay it, working out what part of that stem you'll need. Is there any you can cut off before you, you pleach it over? Once it's pleached, making sure it lies in the hedge nicely and firm to build up your hedge the way you want and ready then for the next one to be pleached onto it. There are lots of benefits to laying hedges. One is to rejuvenate an old hedge, to make it nice and young and reshoot from the bottom again and thicken up. It stops wind, so it helps crops either side of the hedge, which is slowing the wind down. It creates microclimates either side of the hedge as well. So it encourages insects which would go on and eat or predate on insects you don't want on your crop. It stops water running off down, slows water down, so it stops soil erosion. So there's lots of benefits to hedge laying. If someone's got a hedge in their hand, they want to look how to manage it, go and approach someone like the CPRE or ourselves to come and have a look at the hedge, tell them what they could do with the hedge, a way of managing it more correctly if they want to, or they might be doing what, they, what they're doing to their hedge is perfect anyway. So they might not need to alter anything. Maybe just look at the way they cut it or, or how they cut it on what regular basis they're cutting the hedge and how they're gonna maintain the hedge going forward. admire the skills that people have in laying hedges and I wanted to come along and see whether I could learn some of those skills. The ambition is that one day I'll be able to continue some of those skills on and pass them on myself. So here we are on day two of our two day course and what they're going to be doing now is putting binders on the top um, to finish the hedge off, tidying the hedge up, anything that sticks up above the binders and making it really nice and tidy so when they walk away at the end of today the they can be very proud of their hedges they've laid over the last couple of days. We've got some left here. What you could do, you could start to lift these up slightly. So you fix the one there. We had a great uh, Batch Valley uh, hedge laying workshop. Richard is a great trainer. That's fantastic. So it's really good to work with somebody who knows his stuff. It's great to work with different people who've got kind of different perspectives on it and you know, do stuff in different ways, so that's been really nice. It's lovely to see people getting involved in hedge laying and learning new skills. It's lovely to see people as you do the course chatting to each other about what they're going to go home and do on their own hedges or actually even exchanging phone numbers and information so they can come and help each other lay their hedges and hopefully keep that skill going and maintain the hedges that they've got or new hedges they might look to plant in the future. Mm -hmm.